Hello, we're going to take a look at winning at tic-tac-toe and how it works exactly. So I'm going to try and cover all the angles of tic-tac-toe, how to win, um, and hopefully throw in a little bit of a perspective that might, might help. Um, so there's two basic strategies for winning. If you're going first, you want to go in either the corner or in the center. And we're going to take a look at both of these strategies and kind of break them down as to how you would win in either situation. Let's start out with the corner start. The corner starts going to basically look like this each time. You go in the corner and your opponent can go in one of three places, either the side, they can choose a corner, or they can go in the center. This is how it will end in all three cases. If they pick a side, they'll go there. What you do is you pick a corner a separate corner forcing them to take another side that way you can set up a situation like this where they have to choose either the center or the left side and whichever one they choose you choose the opposite because again right here you have two different ways of winning and you would end up winning so if you pick a corner and they pick a side you win every time let me show you what that would look like in um, our tic-tac-toe board you pick a corner, they pick a side, it does not matter which side it is, you follow that, you will win. Now let's look at when they pick a corner. If they pick a corner, doesn't matter which corner it is, what you're going to do is choose another corner. You don't go to the center, you go to another corner, and that will force them into the center giving you the three corners, which is what you like. Three corners is a wonderful situation because you always win. The opponent can go there to try and block you, and you'll go here and win. All right. So again, a situation where if you pick the corner and they pick the corner, you will always win. All right, so that's the side, the corner, and the final place would be the, cent the middle, the center. If you start in the corner and they go in the middle, um, there's no guaranteed way to win. You can pick another corner, you, um, but you have to, they have to block you, you have to block them, and then you have to block them, and you're basically forced to get in this situation that will almost always end in a tie unless someone makes a terrible mistake. So, when we take all of this information and we put it into one tic-tac-toe board it would look like this if you start in the corner you will win if they go on the side or in a corner and you will tie if they go in the middle which means you have a seven eighths chance of winning seven out of eight squares you will win so statistically speaking going first is definitely a big plus now let's see what happens when we do the center start or starting in the center or the middle place um, on the board so if you start in the center, there are a couple of options. One, your opponent could go in the side. Any of the sides will work exactly the same. You pick an opposite corner, forcing your opponent to go there. You block your opponent um, in doing this, and it sets up kind of a double win-win situation here. If your opponent blocks you here, you'll go here and win. If your opponent blocks here, you'll go down here and win. So basically, every situation, you end up with the W the win which is what you want so if you go in the center and the opponent picks a side you win straight up alright let's look at the other situation you pick a center and your opponent goes to the corner so you start in the center your opponent goes in the corner what you're gonna do is go opposite that and then after you've done this you set up a second scenario the second scenario is, again, a corner versus a side. If the opponent chooses the side, and I'll show you that on the, the center one here, if they go to the side, then you block that, setting up two situations where you could win, and you win. In the third situation, or the third tic-tac-toe board up here, we'll go ahead and have the opponent pick a corner. So um, you started in the center, they picked a corner, you picked a corner, they're picking um, another corner. In this situation, you need to block them, then they need to block you. And then here you could go anywhere, it doesn't matter where you go, because it's going to end in a tie, nobody can get three in a row. So what that says 
as far as this goes. I'm going to clear the board here and just show you a little bit. If you go in the center and the person picks the corner, then four out of the six positions will end in you winning. All right. So again, you go in the center, they go in a corner, you pick this other corner because that's the only option that really makes sense at that point. Um, and then you set up a fraction of two thirds of the time you will win. All right. And that's an important fraction and you'll see why here in just a second. Here are our statistics. And this might look confusing, um, but don't worry, it'll get more confusing in just a second. You go in the middle, they hit the sides, you win. If they pick a corner, then you have a two-thirds chance of still winning. So what that means is that there's four places out of eight that you will definitely win. And then we can add on two-thirds times the other four pl places. So it ends up looking like this. We do a little bit of math, and we get 20 out of 24 is the fraction or the probability that you will win. There's 20 chances out of 24. So our final calculations for starting in the corner versus starting in the center. Starting in the corner gave us a 7 eighths chance of winning. Starting in the center gave us a 20 out of 24 chance of winning. Basically you want to be starting otherwise um, your your stats are pretty low. But just for comparison purposes, I've converted this fraction to having a denominator of 24. 21 24 is the statistical probability of winning if you start in a corner versus 20 out of 24 if you start in a center. So there's a little bit of math for you. Um, either way, if you know the strategies, you definitely have a huge advantage going um, first, and you can plan your strategies of going second based on that to try and force a tie. If you go second, the chance of you winning is very, very slim. So you want to force a tie when you go second and um, use this you know the strategies that are in here to win if you go first i hope that that was helpful for you here are some other videos that you may enjoy go ahead and click on them like subscribe and see you next time have a wonderful day